I feel like for the next White Sox to challenge, it's gotta be a ghost one. And we just see, can he have less than 10 complaints? Have you ever fucking done it, Cap? He didn't it's even pour a full too. beer. Do you can see? Absolutely not. We're not talking about the spill, we're talking about the pour. That first fucking pour was better. It was a thousand percent better. This is under protest. We'll let the internet decide. All right, so we're at Country Club in Wrigleyville uh, for the next White Sox Dave Challenge. It's gonna be White Sox Dave versus Big Tom. Who's the better bartender challenge this one's gonna be? It's gonna be three components. It's gonna be pouring a beer off the tap. Who could pull a cleaner beer? Second one's gonna be a cocktail contest. Who makes a better contest? It's gonna be three. It's gonna be judged. And the third one is gonna be the bucket challenge. They're gonna fill four buckets with ice, crack them open, bring them to a table who can do it faster. So, if you don't know, these guys have long-standing beef. You call him the worst bartender in America, you and he had a commenter name. This is, this is a 10 year long yeah. war. This really is. Yeah. So, how do you feel going into this one? Me? Yes. You're the underdog. I mean, so I mean I've never poured a drink in my life, so if someone's gonna get some gasoline in their glass, probably Lance. Um, so, I'm not confident. I don't know how to make a fucking drink. How do you think, Tom? Let's get it done. Let us pour and do the talking, I got. Let's get into it. Uh, uh, actually, just, <laughs> just gonna break a glass before we even start. <laughs> All right, so the first one's gonna be the, whole beer, the, the beer pool. Um, they don't have Miller, so we're gonna do Coors. Obviously, we'll do the uh, cousin, brother, whatever it is. Um, who wants to go first? Dave, you're gonna lead off? We losing a lot of this the is bottom. a lot of spill it. <laughs> a lot of the like, you want a nice quarter inch ahead on a light beer? Tell me I'm right. Actually, these, I like That's, the fillage spot he got to. Cut all the profit margins out of that sale, though. Lost in the tray. I mean, well, let's just let it settle. We'll let it what do settle. you mean, let it settle? You're drinking that right away. You're letting the beer settle. I win that one. And he well, didn't even fill the glass the whole way. But we're also talking about a little bit of spillage here. Yeah, the well, I mean, you ran a whole beer down the yeah, not, a whole, sure. not a whole beer. I think you gotta concede. I'm not conceding. I am right. not conceding. Right. Well, I'm not Tom's conceding. got the win, but it's under protest. It's right. not. Right. I'm it's not under protest. He didn't it's even pour protest. a full beer. He I, didn't even pour a full, full well, beer. Well, that's had a sip, but you <laughs> it, spilled a full beer, and then he had the half inch head. You. you we're not talking it? about the spill. We're talking about the pour. Should we do a? Should we redo? I would have done the exact same thing, and I would win again. Right. We got spillage. Considerably less spillage. I think that's, yeah, that's, that's a good hit. That's a nice pour, Dave. That's a nice pour. I will say these taps are a lot better than I thought they'd be. <laughs> I was expecting just straight shithole right there. All right, How do you Tom, feel about that? That's all that's 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 you're gonna hire him? Yeah, that was a that was a weak performance on my part. I see. Do I, you concede? Absolutely not. That's still a better pour than yours. It's this still one, This one is better than that one. It's, it's close, though. Dude. It is close. That yeah. one, that one, he won, I would say, the one before I won. All right, so he wins a tiebreak. No, no one no, agreed no, no, with no, no. you. We're going best of three now. That's over the He's Hey, it's okay. Yeah. See, I fucked that up. I, I, don't know. I like that. I like the I look like at that, that one. one. That one looks like it's an emergency. You gotta wait 40 minutes. Oh, now he's worried. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. oh, no. oh no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, do you concede? <laughs> so Absolutely not. I won off the bat. No, you didn't. How do you win? The very I, first one I won off the bat. I, I, Dave won this one, though. I'll give him that. Yeah. The first one I absolutely won. I don't. Absolutely I absolutely nice. won. You had to just wait in five minutes for the, the head to settle. One. You lost. No, I did it. If you want to, like, you want to go at it, we can just chug it off, and whoever, whoever wins one. the chug wins. I, I don't have that. That's not a bad idea. You know I'm not a chug guy. I'll give you. I, a, I'll give you a second head start. A full second. Oh, wow, wow. All right. I already won the the pour off, but cheers, cheers the down up, cheers down All up, right. cheers. One with Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> you lost on your shirt. I said I'm not a chug guy. <laughs> Did pretty well. I could, never, I could never like do He's the thing where you just right. open your throat like the Wait, man show guy. What is the bouncer get here? We gotta move to the cocktail contest. Let's not see. Until after you. All, All right. right, I need a cocktail All right. shaker. Alright, what are we making? Uh you're making whatever you want. Mm -hmm. This is 
this the ice views? Yep. So you got the shot thing? No. You don't have a shot thing? No. We know how to count. That's fine. Oh. I do too. <laughs> Little one. Oh god. You're supposed to bounce it, right? No, uh, only when you're going between shots. I knew that. Didn't do it, but he knew it. <coughs> he knew it was something. Right. Dave, can you give the people a little hint on what you're no. making? No. Absolutely not. What kind of glass do you need for it? Just pint glass. So far, we've got tequila and vodka, so this ought to be interesting. <laughs> we got Dave making a nice glass of jungle juice in the morning <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> That's a gin? <laughs> Sure, that I think he's making a long ass. He's making a long ass. Oh, yeah, he's trying to win Lance Over. He knows Lance is a judge. We'll go, Captain. We'll go back. For those at home, I believe we're on our fourth. Bottom. Bottom. Okay. Just a little happy. Uh, lemon. They're in the fruit tray right there. This guy is <laughs> unhinged. He's unhinged. So Wait, almost fucked that up. Oh. You're not supposed to do that. Oh no, what if the glass were to break and glass would break I know, into that's, the ice thing? You're, Danny, you're absolutely right. I'm not one for aesthetics. Tell us the name of your drink. This is what I like to call a Long Island iced tea. One part vodka, one part rum, one part tequila, one part gin. Um, splash it triple sec. I like to use, I like it nice and citrusy, so I go lemon juice. Top it off with just a uh, splash of Sprite, Sierra Mist, whatever you whatever you got handy. He's got Sierra Mist. Garnished with a lemon or lime or orange, whatever. Uh, so that's a long line. I see if you want to try it. Lauren's gonna be a tester. She's a bartender. Um, it's been probably 15 years since I made one of these. A lot of caveats. Questions, Delish. comments, concerns? Like Delicious? actually? Yeah. All right, you gotta give it a score. You gotta give it a score. Out of 10? Yep, yeah, with decimals. I'm gonna say a 7.8. Okay. okay. Like that. So you're, you're, you're in the ball game with the seven eight. We're gonna do a little uh, espresso martini. Oh. I thought we were doing one. I've never made an espresso martini. Three. That one stuck to the finger a little bit, but that's all right. And zero aesthetics right there. Zero. The pressure's on right now. Don't fuck this up. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. She is shaking. <laughs> oh no. We got a, we got a grimace. Is it going to come down to contest three? She is shaking though. She's got the shakes. This is intimidating, I'm scared. He also makes my schedule, so. Mm. <laughs> Looks like you're working Speak on Saturday honestly, morning. we're in the trust tree here. It's very strong. It's a martini. <laughs> the point of an espresso martini is it's for like the girls. It's sweet, it's fun. <laughs> I'm gonna the get inmates it. Inmates are running the asylum right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to do a 6.7. Oh, wow. That's, that's a, a, that's a, that's a dub for Dave. Uh, let's get somebody that doesn't work for me to judge. All right. So I grab someone off the street? Yes. Sure. All right. I don't work. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. You're off the street. Come on. Come on. I mean, she, wait. Since Sarah. Hi. I'm going to smell this first. Okay. She reacted the same way. I think this is a nice sociological experiment. Is this tequila? I was gonna say, do you know what this is? What drink is this? What could you tell from drinking it? Well, it also tastes like coffee, but. Um, well, yeah, cleanse your palate. Put some salt in this. That's a Long Island. <laughs> Would you have guessed vodka lemonade? Because that's what I guess. Uh, it tastes like tequila to me. So. Wrong ingredient. I don't know that's why. Not. 
Uh, I like the espresso martini better. Uh -oh. It's too bad you're not a judge. Tom would have won it. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I was supposed to do a decimal rating. Okay, yeah. I forgot. Well, well, this is still good, but just not my thing. Um, I would say that this is probably like a 7.5. And then I would say that the espresso martini is like... That's what I'm saying. There needs a, to be a control. Eight point yeah. two. Okay, thank you. All right, so I feel like we got to we got to. Ed, like Ed told me I had to make learn how to make an espresso martini, so I like looked it yeah, up. You rushed to the podium to make a Long Island. Yeah, well, you didn't tell me the order though. You either. didn't tell me the order. You said it was cocktail time. Espresso. Yeah, making espresso martini. Ugh. <laughs> Hold on. Where's the coffee at? Kalua. That poured a little too fast for my liking. That's okay. Oh, yeah, got some uh, hard chocolate milk. Yeah, it's just a different color. And the coffee beans, sir. It's kind of watery too, Dad. Actually, it's starting to come too. Yeah, it's gonna come too some ice in it, I think. Oh, that's a choking hazard. Mm -hmm. Are you all right? I'm crunching on it. So um, I think I like this one better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was, I, I had never made one before. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. It's really not bad. First, it's just Danny was great and you can see On the top that I'm crunching on. Well, blame him for having shitty bar equipment. <laughs> nah, it's all right. It's. Hey, not bad though. Long Island, Tom? Yeah. Good. We need that. So since there was supposed to be two espressos, espresso versus espresso, uh, old fashioned versus old fashioned, then the third one's supposed to be you call it. Dave rushed to the cooler to make his Long Island and just started pouring shit in. So we had Long Island versus espresso. So we basically had the you call it. So we're trying to pivot to Long Island, espresso, then you call it. But Dave says he's out of drinks. All right. Lauren, Sarah, we Long Island number oh. two. Look at the difference. <laughs> this one's all watered down now and gross though. I don't want to put water. She already, she already tried both. Yeah, so this one's like was really heavy on the tequila, so. I love how we have to switch judges because he lost the uh, second yeah, round. She's still a judge. She's still a judge. Yeah. She's yeah. gonna try both. Yeah. For sure. Oh. If you're gonna call something something, you gotta have what's supposed to be in it. Yeah, you can make your own variations though. Uh, yeah, but you said it was a Long Island, not like, a white I, trash island. Do, do you think, when you think of Long Island, you think like fruity beach drink, right? No, I think absolute trash. That's just me. All right, so bucket challenge. You wanna explain it? Yeah, so bucket challenge, we're gonna go sit over at one of these tables. We order a round of buckets. There's five beers in a bucket. They have to do the twist off, fill it with ice, put all five in, run it over, and whoever gets there quicker wins the bucket challenge. So it's a timed event for both of them. Um, and it's like whoever can assemble the bucket and deliver it more quickly. All right, how many beers are we doing a bucket here at Country Club? Five in a bucket. Five in a bucket. What do you charge for that? Uh, 25. That's a fucking rip off. <laughs> We're going Millers, right? Obviously. Yes, yeah. Millers. Three, two, one, go. it down so I thought there might be some foam action but he's doing fine. These look like good beers. These look like perfect beers. I would drink these. I was looking for one of the ice shovels. 
Whoever would have been sitting here. Of course here, you don't have here. Maybe a little heavy on the ice, but no complaints. Good job, Dave. Three, two, one, go. Looks like a great bucket. A little lighter on the ice, that's good. We're not foaming yeah, that much. Talk about his presentation, he's getting ice everywhere too. 34 seconds. That's big time, that's a win for big time. I feel like for the next White Sox to challenge, it's gotta be a ghost one. And we just see, can he have less than 10 complaints? That round. That's what we wanna have. Can Dave have under 10 no, complaints? No, I didn't. All right, so Dave was 43 and a half. Big Tom was 34.17. Um, they lost the first round or the the last round. Yeah, all three rounds. No, I did it. I this is so under protest because that first beer was a better pour than his. This is under protest. We'll let the internet decide. Okay. I'm sure the internet's always fair and partial. Tom, do you think you won fair and square? Absolutely. Yeah. I don't think it's even in question. He had to let his beer sit there for ten minutes so the head could die down. You had to pour half your beer down the drain. That's what you, you, have you ever fucking done a tap? You squirt it out a little bit first, then you pour it. Can we get a poll of who do we think won? Overall, who won this White Sox State Challenge? Yeah, it wasn't. Zero no, bias. I mean, he, you spilling half the drink has a lot to do with the performance. I, I think you have some legitimate gripes over the structure of the event, but you harping oh, on that first. Event. Oh, he was a plus <coughs> thousand underdog. Like, yeah. He was, yeah, you were, you were, you were competitive. But like that, the, it's driving me a little crazy that you keep harping on that you had a better beer pour when you that, did. That first like, fucking pour was better. It was a thousand percent better. I don't care about the fucking contest. Trin and I'm grabbing that glass. His was too. His no, was too. Third one was. His third one was third one. It was I dog agree. shit. I agree. Worst part, go get the trophy. Where is it? <laughs> go get the trophy. It's White Sox Dave one. versus White Sox Dave and the judge, White Sox Dave. <laughs> All right, so Dave loses, he falls to and four and three. Yes, I, I'm under protest. Well, we'll put it out to a poll for the internet. Put an asterisk, I'm Dave's sure, first yeah, official. Sure would be completely fair. Um, it turned into a chugging contest. <laughs> you held your own. That's it, White Sox Dave, four and three. That's, That's not L. Mickey Mouse, that's just tit dirt. Thank you. Uh, that's an L. Um, you that. Thank you, Big Tom. Thank you, Country Club. If you're in Ripley, go check them out. Love Country Club. Love it.